To continue on with programming our tile map that we need for building up a simple game, one of the things that we're going to do is add our player and enemy to it. So we had our keyboard movement working where we could drop an enemy on screen, we could intersect with that and detect that intersection through a collision detection using our rectangle intersect, but now our player was able to move using the keyboard. So we're going to continue that as we build out our project. So with that, we're going to port some things over here. Now I could open up the tabs here, copy and paste, copy and paste that over. I just want to show something else that we are able to do so that if I look at my project, so under keyboard movement, I can now even just select, so I can command or control select to choose those two classes because they are separate files and I can copy them, so right click and copy. Now if I go into this project, I can paste those two items in. Now when I go back to that file, we will see that it has now been updated with those two tabs. Now we can see how right and left are failing, so we need to add those in to start making our project work a little bit better. So let's add the rest of the code. So we have our tile map, we've added those classes, but we need to add in a few extra things. So let's go and copy that. And We'll go into our game and start putting in for our game objects. I just realized in my comments here, one is wall, yes, but floor is zero. So zero once I did two, because you know, one, two, counting, so let's correct that. Uh, so we have zeros and ones, four. So now we've added in our player, our enemy, left, right, up, and down, and we can add those into the rest of our project. But before I do that, I'm going to go and grab, and this is also, as I look at this, I could add key pressed and key released into a separate file. I could have my different intersections in a separate file, so I could easily then move those between projects. So that would be nice as an option something that we could do. But in the meantime, let's go and paste those in. So we have our rectangle intersect with the player and enemy. We have our key press, key release, and they're using the if, not the switch statements. And that's because I didn't actually save the file after finishing the video last time. So when I recreated it, I recreated with if statements for now. Probably will migrate them over, but for the time being, we will leave them. Okay, so now we just need to add some stuff into our setup and draw. So we have the player and enemy update, player and enemy display. We got our rectangle intersects. So we'll copy that, put it in. So we should always render the map first so it sits behind. I'll just put a little space here so it's easier to see. Space that out. The white space does make your code more readable, so I would encourage you as projects grow, grow in complexity, use comments and use white space to make your life a little bit easier. So as we look here, this is all our tile map stuff. Now we've put that in. Let's run it and see if we forgot anything. And they're currently intersecting, which is why we see that overlap happening. So now we can see how I can move, overlap. We have player, we have enemy both appearing on screen. So that is good. So with that out of the way, we're in good shape. We've combined our player, we've combined our enemy together. We've got our tile map working. So this is a good place to be.